Hi everyone, Bob is in the house and today I don't feel like putting a smile on my face like I usually do on my videos uh, because I usually just show you guys how I feel in the, at the current moment and uh, I try to be like an open book and um, just show you my uh, true self. I um, cannot be happy right now because uh, of what's happening in the world right now, what's happening in the United States particularly, uh, me as well being in the United States and uh, you know, uh, accepting all the colors, accepting the diversity, and uh, being angry at the fact that a murder of George Floyd happened, and not only George Floyd, but other victims of police brutality, like that hap that didn't ha not happen uh, deservedly. Like uh, there's injustice uh, in in this um, system and um, in this country, and actually in all over the world. Um, if we start to voice actions. Um, and these uh, situations, uh, wrong situations that have happened in the whole world, we, we will discover like that um, it's, it's crazy what's happening in behind the scenes or in the, in the world in general, uh, whether it's um, racial discrimination or with women, uh, women being raped all the time and many, many more um, issues. But I think it's a step towards the right direction and uh, all we want is to bring change uh, into the system and bring um, equality finally uh, like this uh, constitution states but don't actually follow that uh, idea unfortunately nevertheless I um, didn't feel like posting any videos um, or posting any like posts on Instagram that are not related to Black Lives Matter because um, this issue is much more important and like when it comes to like ethics I just felt like my videos like they should not be here uh but um the reason why i actually decided to upload this video particularly is because run the jewels um have come up with a new album that is about um, racial racial injustice racial discrimination and um, uh, police brutality i feel like our focus should be on this uh, right now and uh, um i with my platform, I can talk about this. I can bring uh, this issue to light as well by um, reacting in a, to an album that talks about these issues. I'm a huge supporter of this movement and uh, I've been protesting as well in the streets, donating, posting um, various uh, informational posts on Instagram in my stories. And I've been donating uh, and sending emails towards uh, government officials to hopefully bring this change and i'm glad that actually uh we, we succeeded uh, in some point at least with um, putting um the killer of uh, george floyd in prison anyway let's listen to run Jules four uh by killer mike and lp first reaction let's go track one on yankee and the brave, yankee and the brave <laughs> episode four <laughs> I like the addition on the instrumental. No, 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 no. Nice. Nice. Hey. Hey. Nice. Nice. Um, I've been looking at my uh, lyrics to understand the content better. Track to Ooh La La, featuring Greg Nice and DJ Premier. I'm not gonna analyze this album deeply because I feel like I don't really have the understanding and knowledge like this especially me not being black uh, african-american I, I, I just want to like point out cool lyrics um, that I will find from every track and uh, on this one on Ooh La La for example um, I <laughs> it's, it's really nice like this one uh, fuck the king or queen and all of the loyal subjects I pull my penis out and I piss on their shoes in public people we the pirates the pride of this great republic no matter what you order motherfucker we what you stuck with meaning like we cannot really change the system that much unless we riot 
um, I used to love Bruce, but living my vida loca helped me understand I'm probably more of a joker, right? So that's why, because we want to bring chaos and make our voices be heard. While I myself don't insist on violence by any means, I actually support um, peaceful protests and gladly uh, what w w media will not going to tell you is that people were protesting and it's still protesting really peacefully uh, most of the times. So these instances are rare actually where the people felt the need to attack malls and um, you know shops and steal and what you see on news like the police cars being burned down sometimes police uh, officers themselves are doing this thing so that um, and then they will blame it on uh, civilians so we will look bad like we are all hooligans uh, while in reality they are the ones <laughs> that bringing violence into the protest and um, trying to make a bad example of us uh, when they are the bad example Oof. Track 3 out of sight featuring 2 chains. Here's the chains. Track 4, Holy Kalamafuck. Also, I want to say that I actually found myself speaking about this issue much more uh, passionately on my own language, like when I speak in Uzbek or when I speak in Russian. Since I know those languages better than English, I, uh, I was more furious, I was more angry, I was more um, articulate and um, passionate about what I'm saying. Um, about this issue when I was educating my um, brothers and sisters overseas. Um, I spoke to people from Russia and Uzbekistan. Um, these are the countries I, uh, that are most um, uh, close to me when it comes to my ethnicity. While I'm an American at this point and I care about issues of this country, my English is still not that perfect and uh, the way I behave or the way I talk is a bit different because of the language barrier. So I'm, I'm looking back and uh, the way I was talking to my friends and trying to educate them passionately like a, like a, le like a leader, you know? And in, in those languages, I, uh, I'm like a leader who is like, hey, like, let's fuck it up, let's go. Uh, in English, it's more of a, like a mellow guy and sad about the circumstances. But again, I want to state that I, uh, while we should be infuriated and sad about this also, uh, I'm glad that this is happening, these riots, uh, these uh, protests are happening because we need to bring change and we start. We need to do something about it all together in order to make it change. Otherwise, the system that fuck it, fucking us up um, is going to keep fucking us up, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm glad, I'm glad that uh, we are doing something, we're moving places and um, no, no, we should not stop only on... Um, uh, on this uh, racism issue against African-American people, but also when we mo hopefully succeed in this regard and we will bring equality, uh, I want people to not stop and actually fight for women, uh, the way how they are portrayed in media, because uh, the way women are portrayed in media affects uh, both men and women, uh, because men are... Uh, are receiving this message from media that women, females are like uh, objects like uh, for your sexual pleasure. Uh, media don't portray uh, females as educated and worthy um, and um, capable of running the most um, leading positions till, uh, till present. The reason why Hillary Clinton, for example, lost is because uh, system systematically uh, we don't perceive females as leaders you know what I'm saying but but why not why we always saw men and that's why it's like because we didn't see um female presidents uh for example in the united states i know that in brazil or in some other places uh, there were already uh, female presidents which is great but but in america because we haven't seen um more we females in 
um, in the White House and in, in you know as a president, we just don't really believe in that idea. Uh, even girls voted for Trump instead of Hillary. Uh, not all of them, of course, but uh, like there were Hillary Clinton supporters. But I'm saying more. There were a lot of girls that doubted Hillary Clinton. Um, and didn't perceive her as a leader because of this mental issue that uh, media have been pushing on us. And um, if the language changes about women, if they stop looking at how women look, uh, judging the way women look, uh, because the, the men are not being judged how they look like, but females are. Uh, like it's all about their looks, how they, uh, how she is dressed, how she's blah blah blah. Instead of looking at her education looking at her knowledge and brains, um, she's judged by her looks, uh, which is really uh, fucked up. If you want to learn about this more, there's a movie on Netflix, it's called Misrepresentation. Um, yeah, great movie to check it out, just to, to know that uh, media have been failing us, um, media have been feeding lies um, about um, women and not only women about a lot of things that's why Kanye West said one time never believe what is uh, shown on the news anyway yes yeah, so after Black Lives Matter uh, protests we should uh, bring in another issue while there is a trend of protest we should protest more about we bring in we talk we should talk about other issues as well other than Black Lives Matter we should focus on Black Lives Matter right now but when uh, we succeed hopefully um, we should not stop there and fight for other uh, issues that we want to see in uh, change and I suggest uh, you know f women representation in media is the next one so that women will believe in self in our in themselves more and that will help us on men uh, to educate men better on uh, females and uh, they will treat females differently and and better anyway it's all said in misrepresentation on netflix so definitely check it out but um let's listen to the song uh holy kalama fuck <laughs> Reality sucks dick. How's that for wisdom? <laughs> really nice. Oh, Very good. Track 5 Goonies versus ET. This album sonically is very different comparing to Run the Jewels 3 I heard back in 2016. Yeah, the, the truth is being spitted right now. <laughs> um, hold on, Killer Mike said. Amazing ain't it how we made it and didn't fake it. Life is a disquease. The truth is but naked. Used to be a time I would see it and not say it. Now I understand that woke folk be playing. Ain't no revolution is televised and digitized. You've been hypnotized and twitterized by silly guys. Cues to the evening news. Make sure you make sure you ill advised. Got you celebrating the generators of genocide. Any good deed is pummeled, punished, and penalized. Rulers of the world will slice it up like a dinner pie. Track 6, Walking in the Snow. Dirty code to go, because it's cold flow. Got a wire to a lodge and I'll set a fire down below. Get more glow, it's limbo to the six on the floor. Damn. You helped to fuel the death machine that down the line will kill you too. Pseudo Christians, y'all indifferent? Kids in prisons ain't a sin? Shit. If even one scrap of what Jesus taught connected, you would feel different. What a disingenuous way to piss away existence. I don't get it. 
Yeah, that's crazy. Um, well, in my case, not Jesus, but Allah. You know, I, I'm a Muslim, but it's essentially the same thing. Where it's crazy, like um, if. It, sometimes it seems like people are just uh, not believing religion or something or m maybe they're atheists uh, or something uh, and I don't want to blame like just falsely accuse right now atheists for like being indifferent uh, for um, and not compassionate enough or something uh, but it, like if if actually people were afraid of God or people were connected to religion more I'm sure people would be more afraid to do these horrible things that they do in everyday lives murdering people assaulting somebody raping somebody stealing all these are major major sins uh, on the religion and it's like I'm, I was still wonder like how do they like just do that on and without even hesitate hesitating while i also acknowledge that um i judge people uh, by looking at my own background and, and maybe experience and i understand that other people are going through different things and they have a different reality for example poor people maybe they have to steal to uh, feed themselves because they don't have enough money at all to feed themselves i i get that part but damn like murdering people it's just, it's, it's not the right way. Who is this female? That was an interesting little feature over there. And I love the beat switch again. Yeah, the production been going crazy. The lyrics as well. Yeah, I'm glad that like they put uh, "I can't breathe" uh, George Floyd's um, words on this song. It's like it happened r pretty recently, but they were able to already include that as well uh, into this album, which is amazing. And let's read a little bit what they are saying. Um, and usually the lowest scores, the poorest, and they look like me. And every day on the evening news, they feed you fear for free. Uh, meaning like they they don't want you to fight for freedom they actually make you fear that if you fight for freedom if you fight for um, you know bringing change you will be uh, punished for that and so they, they try to fear you with this like don't do it let things stay the way we want uh, to stay you know, it's beneficial for these uh, corporations, for the government. Yeah, beneficial for the system, but not for us. So they propagand you uh, stuff that is not true just to keep you tight and not act. And you so numb, you, and you so numb, you watch the cops choke out a man like me. Killer Mike is an African-American. Until my voice goes from a shriek to whisper, I can't breathe. And you sit there in a house on couch and watch it on TV. The most you give is a Twitter rant and call it a tragedy. But truly the travesty, you've been robbed of your empathy. I promise I'm honest. They're coming for you the day after they're coming for me. So uh, you might not feel uh, compassionate enough to he help me. But I'm telling you, like, uh, one day uh, it... Uh, my pain will go to you as well like you will be in this situation too so i i'm me as a bob <laughs> telling you to actually try to voice uh these these issues about black lives matter uh and actually help out our brothers and sisters uh, because you you might think it's not your war but uh what if one day there will be a guy uh who will racially accuse you racially mm, do something horrible to you you know because of because of your skin because of your color and that can happen and uh, we've been we've been witnessing that not only with blacks you know what I'm saying with Latinos uh, with Asians I'm an Asian as well and while I'm privileged enough to say that hey actually uh, this never happened to me when it comes to like racial slurs towards me um, but there was a close accident to that one time, for example, when uh, this year when 
uh, four high school kids just came to me in McDonald's. I was, I was trying, I was craving McDonald's burger, and uh, um, they just looked at me uh, and started laughing at me, and then saying, "Like you, you have a funny face. Like look how uh, uh, stupid you look like, or something like this." Um, and um, you know, I I felt horrible. I and I didn't know what to do because what if I started like punching this kids right now and we'll get into trouble for no reason. So I just decided to walk away. I don't know if it was a racial assault or not because they didn't specifically say like because of your race or because you're Asian or because you... Uh, but I mean, they, they commented on my face and you know, like, I don't know. You, you decide, but... I personally hopefully think that it's not because of my race, it's just, mm, I don't know, maybe if I was white, <laughs> I wouldn't be, they wouldn't say that, I don't know, I, wouldn't, I don't know, but, um, uh, you know what I'm saying, so like, it can happen to any of us. Yeah, the, yeah, Jesus was killed by the state. Track 7, just, featuring Pharrell Williams one of my favorite producers and Zac de la Rocha um, before we go into this track actually I wanna give a shout out to uh, incredible rap albums that was were dropped this year Pray for Paris um, these are actually the, the um, albums I'm gonna suggest these all belong to Griselda Records um, Griselda Records have been killing it man like with uh, I haven't been reacting to these albums but I just wanna give a shout out while we are uh, in a rap album you know while we are reacting to rap album to give a shout out to this rap albums if you are interested in rap definitely give it a listen uh, we're talking about um, Lulu we're talking about Pray for Paris we're talking about uh, The Price of tea in China and a few more that I uh, mentioned uh, here <laughs> with text but while I, I probably mentioned Bandana and Piñata too uh, and Alfredo these are not the albums that belong to Griselda Records but still they're also amazing albums um, definitely recommend you to check it out also another thing I just want to add is that um, I, d I know that I don't look like Asian at all um, but I just have to say that I'm Asian because I'm from Uzbekistan it is located in Central Asia I don't know how to group myself uh, or label myself in this country in the United States of America but all I can say is that I look like a Persian guy for example or Mexican um, and uh, I identify with uh, Persian blood uh, a bit because uh, Iran and Uzbekistan one uh, before before like uh, generations ago uh, they were one country one big country and and so um, uh, these are my brothers and sisters uh, guys from Iran and that's why I do look like Persian a bit yeah anyway though track seven just. <laughs> Huh. Vote with the white collar, they say. Yeah, definitely. Like, master of opinion cause you vote with a white collar. Master of this politics, you swear that you got out options. But actually, not really. <laughs> um, and yeah, like, they, they influence you to, white, uh, to vote f to, uh, for white guys, for uh, white guys for president or politicians and look at all these slave masters posing on your dollar that's crazy if you if you um let me get that let me get that image let me get that image look look they're saying that this man abraham lincoln is a slave master <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's crazy it is crazy. Dope. Track 8, Never Look Back. Damn, this album is really uh, weird. Like, it's... Sonically, it's just so different than I usually listen to. And I do listen to a lot of hip-hop, but it's still, like, it, it's incredibly different. <laughs> the ground below track nine. The God killer is Tokyo and I'm Godzilla. Get out of cloud and reaper scream and fuck the world. Dream is coming out like a reaper. The stop the guys. Every child, woman and man, a thing you don't matter, stick to your brain. Track 
Dragged Sand Pulling the Pin featuring Joshua, Joshua Holm, and Mavis Staples. Yeah. yeah, now I see that it's the same moment in history back to haunt us. And here we are again. Yeah, definitely. Like, uh, that. this happened before. Uh, we've been protesting uh, after uh, Martin Luther King has been assassinated. So, I mean, we have protested and we uh, got what we wanted, which was a civil rights act. But apparently um, that was only a piece of paper, which um, didn't come to the light, which didn't really come to real life. Uh, we, we, while it got a bit better, it, it was never um, fully uh, eliminated when it comes to racism and uh, injustice. History came back. Now we are again protesting the same way like 50 years ago. But hopefully this time we're gonna finish what we have started. Last song, we have a few words for the firing squad. You know how everything can seem a little out of place. We're dealing with the motherfucking money, money runners. Nice verse from LP. Okay. And that was Run the Jewels. Run the Jewels 4. Um, wow, I remember when I listened to Run the Jewels 3, and I want to mention that I have not listened to Run the Jewels 2 and 1. I have added, I would say, at least half of the album to like my rap playlist, and I've been listening to it uh, quite a long time. Um, yeah, those songs were great, passionate, I was like dancing to them, like, like the song Down, for example, from Run the Jewels 3. A really great song, or Talk to Me, or Legend Has It, or Hey Kids, Boom I Ate, featuring Danny Brown. You know what I'm saying? So, um, these were the great songs, but uh, Run the Jewels 4, it didn't really um, make me want to like add songs to my playlist, you know what I'm saying? Like, there wasn't like a song that stood out to me as like, wow, I want to like uh, listen to it all the time. Um, the album is good uh, in the sense that it has a lot of lyrical content that is really smart, witty, and necessary. However, uh, and sonically, it's really weird. Like in, in, when it comes to production, it's it's well made for sure. Like it's a good album. Like there's no question about that. But like I I'm questioning about whether I'm gonna be listening to this a lot or not. Um, this days definitely because it's relevant to what we have experiencing right now um, and it's just another good album to listen to a good rap album but what about uh, in the long run is, is am I gonna be remembering this album as like as like oh one of the greats so, and like well, because I have a long list of hip-hop albums um, that I come back to once in a while and listen to is like and like remember it's like oh yes great times but um I don't know if this is gonna be there I just want to give myself more time and uh, appreciate the songs a bit more listen to it more maybe they will grow on me and I will be able to say oh yes I actually have added this to my playlist the only rap playlist I need <laughs> this is literally I have this kind of playlist and what kind of songs I will add there from this album that will stay with me forever. Anyway though, be, like I said, I still think it's a good album uh, and well made. It might be actually better than Run The Jewels 3 in the sense that Run The Jewels 3 had some big lows, uh, some songs I just didn't really enjoy at all uh, and felt not really necessary to include. But um, Run The Jewels 4 is really compact only 11 songs like to the point straight to the point and it's just tighter it's compact and uh, there it doesn't feel like there's like unnecessary songs in this track list at all 
so um, in the in that sense it's, it's great i'm searching for those high highs searching for those great songs uh, and i can't really remember what really stood out to me uh la la and out of sight were dope anyway as of now i will give it seven out of ten but um if you want to see my thoughts on this album um like after some time i will be doing june recap at the end of june and i'll be definitely talking about this album a little bit more maybe i'll change the score a bit i don't know what's gonna happen at that time but uh and if we will be able to even uh, live till the end of june um hopefully yes i don't know what's gonna happen towards that time because 2020 have been like shifting um have been having a lot of events in it uh, historical events including coronavirus and now protests so i don't know what's gonna happen in the end of the June, but hopefully we will be thriving in life still. But yeah, these are my thoughts, and um, that's it. <laughs> Hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and please support the black community. Please support uh, communities that are in need. Um, I will put some links for you so that you can donate, uh, you know, make yourself uh, feel better, actually. Feel better the, the fact that you actually. Uh, are bringing change to this country and to people directly uh, and uh, you are living in a historic moment right now where uh, you can take a stance where you where you at basically on which side you're on are you do you want things to stay the same where there is injustice where people are being killed and uh, like nobody um, is uh, um, making those killers accountable or you actually want justice and uh, you want justice for all the communities uh, including black uh, communities so i encourage you definitely to um, be vocal be active on these issues right now because your help is really necessary to bring to bring change and um yeah if you fuck with me like in the sense that you like my content uh definitely encourage you to support this matter um click on the description box below little links um support causes donate please help out to the people all right love you and i'll see you guys in the next ones goodbye